Welcome back to the tribe. We got some interesting stuff today. A fake cop pulls over a real cop. Doesn't end well. I would assume not. Yeah, it's probably not a great idea. Listen, if any advice I can give you guys out there, don't pretend that you're a cop. Just, just yeah. Don't, mm, let's dive in. Let's find out. On June 21st, 2021, an off-duty police officer was driving home from work when he saw a Jeep traveling at high speed with white and amber lights activated in, guess where? Wisconsin. Y'all got to get your people together out there in Wisconsin, man. Y'all are crazy. Crazy. It's always Wisconsin. The officer saw the Jeep pull up to cars, but the lights activated and then turned on the siren. He noticed the Jeep pull over behind them for a few seconds, then speed off. Why would you pretend to be a cop anyway, though? The after the officer attempted to get close to the Jeep to write down the license plate and tried to pull up next to the Jeep so he could see the driver. The off-duty officer did this, the Jeep got behind him and then activated the siren on his Jeep. The officer pulled over and the Jeep sped past him. Oh my goodness, what is happening? The officer that was off-duty who was still in uniform followed and motioned for to pull over and wait until the deputy arrived. Oh goodness. They found the sheriff's deputy found the off-duty officer standing with the 19-year-old Jeep driver. <laughs> yeah. I'm on my way home, and he's turning this fucking strobe light on, and he's got a siren. He curbs two cars, and then blows past them, goes through a red, and then he's just using this little light bar on top here with these sirens. Yeah. Why, though? What's going on, man? What thing? Siren. Did you try and pull people over? No. <laughs> well, you followed him a pretty good distance. I followed him? Yeah, I heard him all the way from 52. Yeah. And you tried to curb two cars on 52nd Street and use lights and a siren until they pull over and stop. You pull up next to him and then you blow past him. I think I tried the onion. He said he had the PA system in his Jeep and the lights because he works construction. What'd you get off of Amazon recently? Why? I've already wanted one. <laughs> Yo! PA system. To do what? Talk into it mostly. I've always wanted one. What? That, what? Yo, who does this? Kind of had a siren in it, and I didn't really know it had a siren. I was fucking around with it. I did construction, landscaping. I have to light on the top. What's with the yellow and white bar? That's amber. Okay, That's so, construction. so are you doing construction right now? No. So why do you have it on? Because I saw him behind me, and he had his hands on. Oh, so I turned him on. I don't want to get hit. You got any weapons on you? No. Stand up for me. Turn around. Only in Wisconsin. Y'all are wild out there. I got to visit someday. Maybe not, though. Maybe not, though. Should be the RL. Get a siren on. Yeah, so we were, uh, we were going down 52nd and I'm on my way home. Right. So we're going down 5 2, and then all of a sudden I see this white and yellow flashing light on top of the car. And I'm going along, and all of a sudden I notice this guy's like flying, and he's coming up behind cars and making a move over to the shoulder with the siren, and then they pull over and stop. And then Does he, he would, would stop behind him? Yeah, he would pause and stop and then accelerate around him and take off with the, the siren. And then he would race up behind the next car and make that one pull over and curb. And then same thing, he'd race around it. Okay. So then I'm trying to get up on the side of him to see if I could get a look at him. I wrote down his license plate, I turned my radio on. And as I get up next to him, he slows down, pulls behind me, turns the siren on. And I move into the lane next to him and then he blows past me. Okay. So when he came up to a red light, I looked at him and I'm like, pull over and stop. And then he takes off and he ran two red lights. Okay. What red lights do you run? Uh, this one? So this one here for sure. And Coming then, northbound or? Uh, so eastbound. And, and then, then into the northbound. Red, and then he made the left. And then uh, the other one that he ran was 104th and 52nd. Okay. Dudes denied attempting to pull anyone over and said he ran through red lights because the brakes on his Jeep were bad and he was worried he wouldn't be able to stop. Well, that sounds like you should get 
I mean, that's just, I mean, <laughs> what? you gotta look at it from our perspective, no, you know. I it's, I you know, and then the other way to look at it too is if it's got shitty brakes, but you got the time and money to put light bars and whatever on it, oh, then you should put the money into the brakes. I mean, unfortunately for you, you just happen to be, this guy happened to be right there going home from work, so. I'm concerned too, because there's, uh, if you look in his back seat, he's got more LEDs I mean, that aren't installed yet. He's got like a full package back there. Does it look like it's red and blue or just blue? I can't tell, because with our LEDs now, I mean, they could be any color. That's true. I can't tell what color they are on there. It might say on them, but yeah, he's got a full siren and air horn ripped up on this thing. Okay. First meeting a police officer, at least, because he said he tried to, he stopped behind them for several seconds and then sped off. Yeah, he would curb them. And then it, he didn't get out and make contact with them, but he would curb them and then speed around them. Okay. <laughs> Two people, let me try to do it to you. Yeah. Okay. I was going to hit the interstate. I don't know why it's just What's with the red lights? One of the red lights. What red lights? This one and then the one on 104th and 52nd oh, Street. I was like, 200, 100 feet maybe before the red light. And Did you have your siren on when you were going through the red light? Uh, I don't know. I, I have my horn on, I think. What horn? The little like that horn. The air horn? Yeah. Because like my brakes are shit on this thing. And like I can't really stop very good on it. So it hit, red, it hit yellow before I was like able to like stop real quick. So I just kind of like hit the air horn. Such a horrible excuse. It's like, yeah. So it sounds like you tried to pull over three people. No, I no. That's not what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that you got behind him, hit your light and your horn, put him to the curb, stop stop behind him for several seconds, and then sped around him. No, I didn't do that. That's not what I heard. No, I would never do that. So what are you doing? I just got the siren today. It for what purpose? It came from Amazon. He's got a whole light bar that's not rigged up. I'm literally not trying to impersonate no one. You know when you're pulling people over with the light flashing, it is impersonating, right? I'm so confused as to what... Like, I'm not in I don't have a uniform. I don't have any firearms. I, I, I really love you guys. I really honestly do. I'm not trying to impersonate no one. So what were you going to do with this other light bar that's in here? All right, we're going to skip through a little bit because I don't know why this would take another 10 minutes when it probably already resolved what's happened. You end up getting yourself hurt over something stupid just because you want to play around. How long are you on probation for? He's on probation and for a 2020 conviction for intimidating um, a victim in disorderly conduct. Oh, boy. April. In that case, he was originally charged with four counts of fourth degree sexual. Ooh, and those charges were dismissed as part of a plea agreement. <laughs> Dude, I see this every single day. If you're on probation for whatever the case is, and I'm sitting here drawing attention you should myself. literally be going, going to work, I'm going to, home, I'm, and that's it. You shouldn't be going to any bars. You shouldn't be going right, okay. anywhere after Bro, whatever. To, guys do all, stupid stuff all the time. We just had a guy yesterday. He was out on probation and whatever else, and the guy decides to go to the bar with his old lady, and yeah. guess what? Now he's gonna go to prison for <laughs> three, four years because, you know, it's like, just stay at home. I get it. I mean, I, mean, I get you have a life and I get you're 19, right. but, you I know. three jobs. Right, I get it, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, your decisions in the past, you know, brought you to here, so it's right. like, you, you just need to stay home, stay out of trouble, right. not go anywhere, not do anything. Your reputation falls. So here's what I think happened, okay? I think you got this new light today, and it's cool, you got a new light, you got a yeah. new siren, it's fun. Yeah. Then you realize you turn it on and people pull over for you like you're a cop. So you thought, hey, this is kind of fun, I'm going to pull behind them like a cop, because you like the cops, that's great. And then, well, maybe I probably shouldn't go far with this, but that was cool, and then kept going. Is that about right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, we got the gist of this. This one is a little bit weird. Usually there's like a lot of action. So let's just kind of see what the, the aftermath is. Hold you or not, that's up to him. But I'm being honest with you because you've been honest and cooperative with us. Absolutely. Okay? Try to work with you. Yep. So let's just have a seat back on the bumper. Once we hear back, we'll let you know, okay? Get for it.
So they decided they're going to hold you. So. Well, I said racing is not a weekend, so you don't have to sit there for three days before you get. Does anybody know anyone that's ever like impersonated an officer? I just, I'm just, I don't, I do, like, sometimes I'm just like, come on, bro. Like we, the more you gotta have enough logic to know that this does not make any sense and does not work in your favor, right? Like the majority of people have to have that kind of knowledge. I would assume. Let's see if they show the charges that he got. Right, here we go. Straight ahead of that silver desk on you, right? He was charged with impersonating a police officer, a misdemeanor, and cited for violation of red traffic light and unlawful siren or horn. Okay. So he did get the charge for impersonating. Given a $2,500 signature bond, however, he's being held in Kenosha County Jail on a probation hold. That's right for the other things that he got in trouble with. Listen, it's just like, I, I'm just, I'm going to be real with you. If you really think, like, y'all, I'm going to go buy sirens and, and, and lights and stuff off of Amazon. And I'm gonna put it out of my car and try to pull like I, like you were you would ask for what's coming like, I'm, and I'm gonna be honest the cops were really really nice about it considering what he was doing, I would have been totally okay with them being a little bit more aggressive because you you gotta there's multiple reasons right, All right cops already get a bad name because of bad cops that are actual cops then you got people that are going out and pretending to be cops that's never good you're gonna make people start to question what cops are real what's happening stuff like that they may never see the story. I don't, it just, it just becomes a very fishy thing. This, it's a very serious thing. I almost feel like impersonating a cop should be a felony, not a misdemeanor, but I don't know. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. This was, a, this was an interesting one. I thought it was gonna be more action because it's like we got all the information like immediately and then it was just a very slow roll of, of, of stuff. So I'm gonna, like I said, whenever it happens like that, I'll try to skip towards the end and get more to the, the meat of what's happening. But I appreciate you guys. If you're still here, you're legends. Another video will pop up right here. I'll catch you next video, homies.